Mike Tyson and Jake Paul are set to face off in the ring on November 15, despite significant criticism and concerns. The fight was initially scheduled for July 20 but was postponed after Tyson, 58, suffered an ulcer flare-up. This upcoming bout marks Tyson's first officially sanctioned fight in 19 years, and it has raised eyebrows due to the substantial age gap between him and 27-year-old Paul. The Texas Department of Licensing and Regulations has sanctioned the fight, ensuring that the results will count toward both fighters' records. To mitigate potential risks, they have mandated the use of 14-ounce gloves instead of the usual 10-ounce ones. However, veteran cutwoman Sammy Morris has warned that Tyson remains at a high risk of getting cut due to his age. She explained that as people age, their skin thins, and the production of elastin and collagen decreases, making the facial bones more prone to cuts from punches. Morris also noted that Tyson's healing process would be significantly slower at his age. Despite never having suffered a severe cut that led to a doctor's stoppage in his career, this risk is heightened due to his age. Critics of the fight, including former boxer Carl Frick, have dismissed it as a clown show, suggesting it lacks authenticity. Freck pointed out that Tyson seemed to be playing a role, calling the press conference antics contrived and staged. Many fans are drawn to the fight out of curiosity to see if Tyson can deliver a knockout punch to Paul. However, some, like Freck, believe the fight shouldn't happen, labeling it as mere spectacle rather than a serious boxing match. While the bout has generated considerable attention, the concerns for Tyson's health and the integrity of the sport remain prominent topics of discussion.